Hi everyone, it's Jan, and I just have to tell you, I have missed you guys. I have missed you. You all are such a source of encouragement in my life. And the last couple of weeks have been very, very busy in my personal and professional life. And that has therefore led to the fact that I haven't gotten to, to be creating things for... Um, to share with you guys and also I haven't been able to to be around seeing as many of your inspirational videos so I will be over the weekend I have a lot to catch up with and I can't wait to see what you've been up to. I have a couple things that I want to share with you when I got home this evening there were a couple of things in my mailbox and this one right here is from the giveaway that Miss Claudia had. Her YouTube name is 66MS Claudia, Miss Claudia. And I was so excited um, when I found out that she had drawn my name. She is just precious to so many of us and so, so much of a creative inspiration. And I just was totally honored that um, I actually won. And it came today and I wanted to share with you what she sent. This is a great way to end the week. I came home and there was this cute postcard that is just so much attention to detail. Look at this pretty lollipop flower that she's done. Isn't that pretty? I love that. I'm going to be using that for some inspiration. And she said, Jan, congrats on winning my giveaway. Enjoy the goodies. Hugs, Claudia. And I am so excited and she was she went way above and beyond what I could ever ask or think because she um, she had seen my little hanging sign mini that I had done a couple weeks ago and when I won she said and I saw that you already had that die so let me get you a different one and can you believe that, ladies? How sweet is she? So she surprised me, and this is the one, and I have to tell you that this is the one that I've just been really sad that I didn't didn't get, but you know, us girls, we're on a budget, and we can't always get everything that we want when we want it, and so this is an extra special treat for me. I'm going to have so much fun playing with this. And then the trinket pens, I have not had these before, so I am super excited about that. And this recollection stamp set, I, I'm a big journaler. I love having um, little places to journal, whether I'm doing minis or, or layouts. So this will be really fun to work with. And the Muse tokens, I just, these are one of my favorite products from him. I think that I like that there is the, the stamped out initial in the center and, and just all the words that are great. And I just love these old-fashioned letters on the stamp set. So that is going to be super fun. And then the Heidi Swap set that Bona and everybody have just worn out and showed us all the cute ways to, to use it. And I don't know how I never acquired one. So I'm really super excited about that. I want to show you the other thing that I came home and found, and it was this really pretty card. And I, in this idea, this was from Yolanda, Yoli Bean, and she is so stinking creative and sweet and all of those, those things. And I'm going to be careful, but look, she stamped a little postcard with Inspire and then addressed it and stuck it in the silo bag so that that was the way it came to me. It actually mailed in the bag. She is so stinking creative. Look how pretty this is. You know, she just does such attention to detail. There's some cuddle bug embossing back here and layers of on her leaves. And girl, I just have to tell you, you were such a source of encouragement to me this evening when I came in. So I just was tickled to death. And I have to tell you that I came in tonight and I was like, oh, I really want to be able to share something with my friends on YouTube. But I really haven't been doing anything that was to share. And I kind of glanced down at my desk, my, my work area in my desk. And there was this pile of things there. And the thought occurred to me that, yes, I actually have been doing things. Just not anything that we would 
called technically a project that we could share, but I have been playing and I call it intentional play. When life is busy like it has been the last couple of weeks, I really don't get to work intentionally on projects. And I have, have learned that the creative part of me really needs an outlet, particularly when I am busy, but that's the hardest time to go and do a mini album or any other kind of project. And so what I have determined really works for me, and I wanna just maybe throw this out there to you, is that when you're in the midst of those times, let yourself just go and do some intentional playing. And that's what all of this is. There is not a project here. It was simply when I would come in at night and I only had, you know, maybe 15 minutes or something to go sit down and piddle around with things. I let myself do that. And I think that some of my projects in the future will be better for it because I did. Because during the time that I have been, um, the last couple of weeks, I've, I've gone in and I've done things like doing this little flower, which I did with Starburst stains. And, you know, I have, I have all kinds of those in here because I've just been playing. I wanted to see what that product would do. And, and the time to figure that out is not necessarily when you're sitting down and needing to create something. So for the last couple of weeks, I've just let myself kind of play. So let me just show you a couple of other things I've done. This was a piece of chipboard that I wanted to see how combining a couple of colors of embossing powder would look. So I played with that. Uh, this is a Martha Stewart lace punch. Looks pretty bedraggled, doesn't it? I just punched me a piece and played with some of the Starburst stains on it. That is the new thing that's in my studio at the moment, so I was having fun playing with it. This is some lace that I put some Starburst stains on. These are some ATC cards that I created, and really what they're they're not really completed projects. They were just me wanting to play with the the background, make some interesting little backgrounds with the starburst stains and and that's what these two little projects were. They really were me wanting to see what effect the starburst stains would have. And then if you'll look really closely here at the edge, you'll see that what I've put on the edge is some crackle paint. Because I did see Rach0113 had, when she used Picket Fence, the Distress Crackle Paint, over some Starburst Stain or another kind of paint, the, it, would, it would bleed through the white picket fence. And, and you can see, I wanted to see what that effect was. Here is one where I was doing, I was playing and doing one of um, Rach 0113's technique of putting fantasy film and micro beads and all that sort of stuff down on a, a background and then using alcohol ink on it. Just coming in and playing, making a mess, not feeling like it has to be perfect. Here's something that I did that I don't really like. I made a flower and then tried to distress it with some crackle paint. Didn't turn out so well. It's probably not going to show up on anything. The other thing that I always kind of keep going is that I always have an altered book that I can just go slap some paint in, do some stamping, whatever. When when time is short and I don't have a super huge outlet for creativity, but when I get back to being in my studio, I now have all kinds of ideas. So I hope that if you are ever in a in a place that you're just too busy to actually create a finished project, that you will still let yourself go into your scrappy space and play a little bit. Because you'll discover some things that when you actually do get around to it, you'll be ready to, to go with some new techniques.